All right, traders, we got some important updates to go over. I'm going to continue to prepare you to trade the best setups at the best prices. The key level that I gave out for the SPY puts was the exact high of day from that video that I posted yesterday. I'm going to give you the new updated price action analysis on the SPY along with the top stocks that I'm watching, including Tesla, Netflix, and several more. So let's get right into it. So in terms of that key level, and this was all stated within the watch list, um, as you can see on April 12th, SPY puts at 447.60 for a gap close reversal. It's still relevant, you know, level still relevant from the watch list, even though it's not from the exact today's watch list. Um, but yeah, that price alert triggered and that opened up a phenomenal opportunity. The exact level, if you watched yesterday's video, it was $447.57. We had people within the chat play this one within you know using the watch list using the gap close reversal strategy um big shout out to the beef supreme 50 percent return on spy puts using the gcr strategy the gap close reversal strategy so this was able to get members in at the exact high i've been telling people in terms of spy puts to wait for this gap to fill there was a gap to fill at $447.57. Some people were playing puts before the gap fill last week and it was working out, but this week it's not working out, right? So you gotta stick to that strategy. So $447.57, that's where the gap to fill was on the SPY. You could see it is a key major resistance level as well. And if you look at the high of day, it had a gap close reversal to an exact T, double topping. So in terms of what are your confirmations to be buying puts on this gap close reversal? You could see in the pre-market, it's already topping out at 447, pulling back, pulling back. If you go back to the previous day, you can already see that it was starting to pull back as well from 446. So right around this key gap close reversal zone. And then in terms of confirmations, the five minute candle right here is a bearish trend reversal candlestick. The five minute right here is a bearish trend reversal candlestick, right? And then in terms of the one minute candles, you have a nice double top, nice bearish confirmations coming in. It gets slammed back to pre-market pre support. And then you have new lower highs. Your new bearish wicks are forming much lower than the gap close reversal level, which is all confirmations to be buying put options into these lower highs, into this pullback, even into this low of day breakdown right here. Um, and then the five minute chart as well gave it away. So those are the bearish confirmations in terms of this buy puts. And then you might be wondering, well, you know, where do you set your price target? Well, since SPY gapped up, you would set your price target at where the new gap is waiting to fill at that previous closing price, which is pretty wild because SPY, you could have traded the strategy both ways. You could have went short, got puts, long, got calls. I'm going to show you how. Um, you could see right here, there is a gap to fill below at 445.04, which is a key support level from yesterday's close. You could see right here, nice support from there. And then it shoots up to fill that gap, right? So SPY had a back-to-back -back gap close reversal. And this is why you have to lock in profits when that gap fills. So if you look at the initial reaction, as soon as it started to fill this gap, you have a bullish trend reversal doji right here. This is bullish. You have a bullish pin right here. You have more bullish pins coming in right here. It did go a little bit under. It did try to form it as resistance. But you could see once it started to break above this channel, once it started to turn it into support and break out and turn it into support, that's when SPY had its gap close reversal right around 10, 20 a.m. Also keep note that stocks like to have reversals at 10 a.m. So if you see a stock gap up and then it comes straight back down like SPY did to fill that gap, typically around 10 a.m. or 9.50 a.m., they like to have short-term micro reversals. You could see this is a micro reversal where it fills the gap, has a micro reversal, nearly retest the high of day, and then has another gap close reversal. So SPY had multiple reversals today, had a gap close reversal here for puts, had a gap close reversal right here for calls, had another gap close reversal at that key resistance level for puts. Again, so much opportunity within the SPY. Um, in terms of bullish confirmations at the gap close reversal level, these bullish pins, when you see these and you're in a short and it's at a key support gap fill level, you gotta be stepping out. This is a very bullish pin right here. And then the higher support, the breakout comes in, higher support, higher supports, so that's when you gotta step out. But yeah, that's how you could have played it both ways. Um, you know, SPY had this gap to fill right here. Once we see that that's a resistance level, we look to buy the puts, ride it back down to fill the gap below. 
Once the gap builds, if we see support coming in, typically we'll just automatically get out. But if we see support starting to come in, some bullish candles come in, we lock in the profits for the puts. And then if you want, you can switch sides and you can buy the calls with a max risk of right around here at 404.28, right? These are key trend reversal levels, meaning if it doesn't have that trend reversal when we get in, we get out for a very, very small loss. And when it works, the win is typically two to three times bigger than that small loss. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the play. That's kind of the strategy on how you could have used, you know, SPY had a gap close reversal back to back today, both short and long with the strategy, got you in at the exact high of day this is wild 447.57 is the high and if you look right here that gap that's waiting to fill above is at 447.57 to an exact t what trend reversal strategy is going to get you in at the high at the top of the stock when you're buying puts and then the inverse at the bottom at the low of the stock when you're buying calls this is why this is definitely my favorite strategy um and it was a two-part strategy so just to understand there's gap close reversals where the gap fills and then it has a reversal but this is a two-part strategy. This one is my favorite. This is an add-on. This is a, a trend stacking. This is a gap close reversal where it fills the gap, has a reversal. Then it comes back down to fill the gap below, right? So when they gap up, fill that gap above, have a reversal, come back down to fill the gap below, that two-part strategy, gap close reversal to fill the gap below, those are my favorite ones. So what I'm telling you is if SPY didn't gap up today and it just went up and it didn't have this gap up, the strategy wouldn't have been as good because it doesn't have a gap to fill within the favor of the reversal. So my favorites are the gap close reversals to fill the gap below. And then, um, you know, the strategy, the gap close strategy, you can just use that one singly as well. Um, but those are my favorites when there's a gap to fill within the side of the trade you're on, right? So if you have calls and there's a gap to fill above, that's my favorite. If you have puts and there's a gap to fill below, that's my favorite towards the price target. So um, in terms of the updated price action analysis on the SPY guys, what we're hoping for is another gap fill hoping we can get it this week if not possibly next week um so spy has been continuing to bottom at this key resistance right here which is now reacting as support you can see the top of this channel is now the low of this channel which is micro bullish um we filled the gap we had a reversal it is up a little bit in after hours here it is currently trading out last time i checked 446 dollars so what i'm hoping for is if we don't get it this week hopefully next week the next play, so I gave you guys the best setup, the gap close reversal on the SPY, it worked. What are we planning to do from here? We're planning to do it again, just at a better level, right here. And this should be much better and much more promising than this one, even though this one was phenomenal. $451.03. There's a gap to fill above at $451.03. You can see right here, it's major resistance, right? So we're looking to buy puts. When SPY hits 451.03, look for the bearish confirmations. I showed you what those confirmations can be within today's lesson, right? It's all within those candlesticks and the volume. So um, we're looking for weakness. We're looking for it to struggle. We're looking for a fake out at um, 451.03. We're looking for resistance to form. Ride it back down to about 447.57. That's where you want to ride it back down. This could be a play where you do actually swing trade it as well. We got to see how it reacts. If it forms a bearish confirmation on the daily, then that will be a swing trade. If we can get a bearish confirmation, that's not determined till the end, till the market close. So anything before then is a day trade, right? So that's going to be a day trade opportunity and potentially a swing trade opportunity. Um, the best level to swing trade puts on the SPY is going to be at $464.72. That'd be the exact best level. But guys, for that day trade opportunity coming up, be on the lookout for that 451.03. That's the best new level for the SPY. I gave you the best one yesterday's video, and this is the new This is the new best one, 451.03, right? Um, key previous support should react as resistance. A lot of resistance here, a lot of resistance right here. See, so it gets to 450.58, and then the next day it sells off to 444. It gets to uh, $450.69, and then two days later it sells off to 439. This 451.03 level should be a golden opportunity for some put options. So I'm looking forward towards that. And that's what we're doing. We're waiting for the best prices. We're waiting to trade the best prices at the we're waiting to trade the best setups at the best prices. That's exactly what it is that we're doing. Um so yeah, that should easily easily make you back more than the cost of Trader Society to join the program. 
that's an A1 setup. In terms of MULN, MULN had a gap close reversal. The low of day is 134. The lower gap to fill, remember how I told you guys the stock was going to get slaughtered, um, just like Proke? There was a gap to fill at a dollar and 35 cents right here a dollar and 35 cents the low of day is 134 it had a gap close reversal to an exact t just like spy it's been pumping ever since this is on track for a gap fill to 169 if it breaks above 169 it fills this gap at 184 that's what we're looking at on muln it's having a gap close reversal it's currently micro bullish at the moment you can see it bottomed nicely at that key gap close reversal support level so this stock is really going to be on track to pump back up to i think about a dollar and 83 so i'm going to keep an eye on that one as well um csaa had its second red day very very bearish once we crack 565 it's going to have a nice pullback to about five dollars a share look for the key breakdown on casa also the best price to short resistance is at that gap fill at about seven dollars and uh, nine cents seven dollars and ten cents right around there got my price alert set key breakdown here and then key gap close reversal resistance right here looking to buy puts looking to short that one in terms of tesla tesla is going to be our number one stock i made a nice little profit on tesla today this was the only trade that i took um i bought some tesla calls at 10 25 a.m so if you go to 10 25 a.m here's where i bought the calls when it started to bottom out at 10 25 a.m which is right here when the price was trading at 218.75 um, it had a nice little quick run up to about $225. It hit $227 later on. I sold too soon, but I locked in my profits. I bought the contracts at 8.5, sold them at $10, made a 10% plus return on that. Um, these puts printed like crazy from the you know, from the earnings, man, it's crazy, up over 4,000%. These puts were up over 4,000% today. It's pretty wild what you can do with options. But um, anyways, game plan for this is to wait for the first green day. This is the last time it had negative earnings, it had a very big gap down. You can see right here, this was the first day. Second day was a nice green day after a gap down. So hopefully it gaps down tomorrow. Then it started to bottom out, form some higher support, higher support. A couple days later, form this bullish pin towards that resistance. And then it just blasted off. It went from 360s to 460s in just a few days. So the plan is, and the theory is, that we're going to see a similar move. I think Netflix is really due for a pump. I think they're going to do a little micro pump, something like this. So I'm waiting for some bullish candlesticks to come in on the daily. I'm waiting for signs of a breakout. I'm waiting for signs of strength. When I see that, I'm going to be buying Netflix. And in terms of the calls that I'm looking at, I'm looking at um, May. I'm looking at like a May 6th, a May 13th. That's what I'm looking at in terms of Netflix. I think that'll be more than enough time for these. Calls are very, very cheap, very, very oversold right now. So I'm waiting for some bullish confirmations. Um, has this bottomed yet? Most likely not, but the bottom is going to be very, very soon. Last time it bottomed on the second day. The second day it bottomed out last time. So in terms of upcoming plays, if we crack 212, we're going to go to like under 200. We're going to go to about 190 most likely, and then we'll start to rip. So keep an eye on dip buying opportunities for Netflix. In terms of where this can potentially bottom out, let's see if the daily chart tells us anything. Um, so let's take a look at these key support levels. Let's see, let's see. So we have a gap to fill at 186. So keep an eye on this. This is what you want to keep an eye on. 186 and 192, most likely 192. 192, 186, um, 201, 201, 192, 186. That's the bottom is going to be in between that if we go lower. If we crack 212, it's going to bottom out in between that. The best price for it to really bottom out where the strong support is would be towards 186 and uh, 192 in between that zone. There's some gaps to fill. Pay attention for a gap close reversal at those key levels. I'm interested in buying Netflix. I'm just waiting to do so. It most likely hasn't bottomed out just yet. Last time it bombed down the second day after earnings. So tomorrow will be the second day. We'll see how it reacts. It's due for some sort of pump. It's going to take some time. Could take like two, three weeks, but it's due for some sort of move up. It's due for some sort of pump. So I'm waiting for the buyers to come in. I'm waiting for the pins to form. I'm waiting for the bullish confirmations on a Tesla for a potential swing trade. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan on that. In terms of Tesla, Tesla, 
um, dropped all the way to 973 today, and then it pumped up after earnings now at 1,028. So your make it or break it level for Tesla is going to be 1,028. If it cracks, puts are going to print. If it holds up, then this is going to be on track to fill the gap at 1,057. Best price for puts, 1,057 and 1,091. Those are my two levels of interest to buy micro puts on Tesla. So we'll see how it reacts at those key levels for tomorrow. Um, this is getting interesting. Keep an eye on NEO. NEO stock is due for a pump. It's due for a spike. It's due for a rip. You got a lot of support right here in the 1875s. You have a gap to fill at 1987. Lately, it's been recovering a lot. Whenever it has a big pullback, it's been recovering a lot, recovering a lot, recovering a lot, shooting back up to fill those gaps. Keep an eye on NEO. It's due for a pump back. It's due for a gap fill play at 1987. And then puts are going to print when this goes back to 1987. So I'm waiting to buy some puts at key resistance levels for a gap close reversal at 1987. See how it taps out in 1999 at 1990. The next day it drops to 1807. Puts printed um, like crazy up over 200, 300%. I'm looking to do that rinse and repeat when it goes back up to fill the gap. In the meantime, we're due for a pump. We're due for some sort of pump up on this stock. Um, it recently bottomed out at 1777 and then it ripped back up to 20. So this just had a massive move to the downside, had a nice gap down. It's due for a gap fill. Keep this on your radar. It's going to really start to break out when it goes above 1855. This goes above 1855, 1860. It's going to push back up to fill the gap. Keep an eye on NEO stock for a bullish move and then the bearish move at 1987. That's what I'm really excited for is that bearish move. So um, yeah, that's going to be a really good setup to trade both ways. Keep that on your radar. Um, in terms of other plays, let's take a look here. So not too interested in Airbnb at the moment. I do want to see this does look bearish. I do want to see how it reacts to 160. It's on track to fill that gap at 160.11 this week. Limit stock crashed just as I expected. If you watched that video yesterday, limit stock crash. Um, it's down 1.3% on the day. The puts are up 20 to 50% on the day. VERU stock ended up crashing. I was bearish on this one in the 15s. Um, it's trying to come back and recover to fill the gaps. No longer interested in buying this one. For this one, I'm waiting for a put opportunity towards 1495, maybe even 1264, most likely not. Gonna wait till 1495 on that, most likely. So um, Ader, Ader had its, it finally flipped and we got a blue, a dark blue triggered on the squeeze indicator, which is bearish. So Ader stock is basically done. Um, we do have a gap to fill above at 585. That's where I want to buy some puts on Ader if, if it rips back to 585. In terms of where should we be dip buying Ader stock? Right right around here. Wait till 385. 385, gap close reversal. Wait here to dip buy Ader stock. So 385, I'm looking to dip buy, looking to get some calls on Ader. And in terms of shorting, looking to go short at 585. So 585, best resistance level. 385, best price to dip buy back-to-back -back gap close reversals just like SPY. So that's what I'm looking to do on Ader stock. Apple is looking a little weird. Overall, this looks bearish. It really does. Um, this does look pretty micro bearish. Not interested in it though. Anything can happen with this one. And then in terms of the VIX, you know, the VIX, this is a very interesting candle on the VIX right here. It nearly filled the gap like I said it would, then it got slapped, had a gap close reversal. Um, this, this candlestick on VIX is pretty weird. Not the most bullish, not the most bearish. It's kind of in between. Also keep an eye on MULN because it's really starting to, uh, pick up here during after hours, having that gap close reversal at 160. Got to pay attention to those gap close reversal, uh, levels. This was a key one. Previous resistance now reacts as support. You have the key gap close reversal right here at 135. But yeah, guys, those are the top setups. So the main ones I'm going to be looking at are Neo. That's going to be an A1 setup. Tesla, Netflix, um, Spy is going to be A1 when it gets back to 451.03. I'm telling you, Spy puts at 451.03. Those are going to print. Neo puts at 1987. Those are going to print. Be patient. Wait for the best prices. Trade the best setups at the best prices. These are going to be some phenomenal trading opportunities coming up. We just got to wait for these price loads to trigger. Whether it's going to happen this week or next week, it should happen. So um, that's my game plan moving forward, keeping it very, very simple. That's going to wrap up today's video lesson. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash the like button. If you do want to be a part of Traders Society, that's our private group. You can click the link down below in the first description. 
Um, everything is explained there. It's the first link in the description. Once you do join, you get instant lifetime access for you know the chat room for the live trading streams that we do at Market Open, where you can ask me questions live on spot. Um, you also get access to the video lesson library where you get to learn the unique gap trading price action strategies that work both ways that we're consistently using to trade in the market both ways, long and short calls and puts. Um, you'll also learn psychology, risk management, position sizing, mindset to trading within the video lesson library. There's a lot more to it. You get access to the chat room, the real time trade alerts as well, the members within the chat room, and you can contact them personally as well. Um, and yeah, that's really going to be it. So that's going to be that first link down below in the description. I encourage you to check it out and I'm looking forward to working with you guys tomorrow morning.